I shouldn't be allowed in the kitchen, really. <laughs> I pretty much do everything in the kitchen. Uh, most peculiar thing, create uh, kombucha, which is like a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. The most what? Um, love. <laughs> the kitchen for me is like a place where I really live and I do a lot of things, not only cook. <laughs> so it like grows in a tea. That's kind of funky. Um, wash my makeup brushes. Yeah, I clean my makeup brushes in my kitchen. Yeah. The peculiar thing, uh, uh, if, if we accept uh, sex, it was uh, some Japanese food, but it wasn't a really good result. On my island, I have a, I have a nice big island with Caesar stone on it. Uh, to have a warm water. Yes. That is a healthy habit. You don't know this. When you wake up, you need to have a uh, one water to drink it. In the morning I make a, a, a good coffee. <laughs> That's my first thing. I make a smoothie for myself, first thing. In the kitchen I get some water to fresh up. I think what I, I can eat in the day. Uh... Cooking with my son and with my daughters. It's lovely. Strongest memory in the kitchen. Um, maybe my grandma's kitchen, like apple pies and things. Torta. Uh, the cake, yeah. <laughs> Fresh beer? Uh, water, I think, yeah. Uh, because I think water is a very important element for the life. Water and tomato. That's it. And the water has also some soft power. Some AI inside? Oh, that would be fantastic. Like a lot of glass, so that you can watch the outside world and uh, while you're cooking. Watch the whole space around you, so like an island. Big. I love cooking and the thing is when I have people over I don't like to leave them. I think it will be not a kitchen, maybe it will be just some point in my house. It could fit a load of people in that I have around for dinner and super functional. Maybe the kitchen it's not so logical today, I don't know.